Hi guys and welcome to today's reading comprehension. It is called Hey Diddle Diddle. That might sound familiar to some uh, people in here. And the focus is vocabulary and orientation. So, Paul's Rafal, do you know any nursery rhymes? Can you name them? Do you still remember them? Pause now and have a think. For me, I do have my favourites. Uh, Sing a song sixpence. The girls and, boys, the girls and boys come out to play, Hickory Dickory Dock, and I had a little nut tree. I used to sing these to all three of my children every night when they were babies. So they do kind of stick in your head after a while. I'm not going to sing them for you today, though. I don't think you need that today. So here's the text itself. Now, I will make that a little bit bigger in just a minute, but I thought you might want to see the pictures as well. So, hey, diddle diddle. <clears throat> Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little boy laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Hey daddle diddle, the cat lost his fiddle, the cow became ill in the June. The little boy stopped, upset by this riddle, and the dish had a row with the spoon. Hey diddle daddle, the cat went skedaddle, the cow passed away far too soon. The little boy sobbed to see that she'd gone, and the dish broke away from the spoon. Hey diddle diddle, the cat found his fiddle, the calf was born around noon. The little boy giggled to see life unriddled, and the dish made it up with a spoon. With no rhyme or reason, our life can change season. Come winter, the snow will abound. But the laughter once lost because of the frost, just lies hidden, and in spring will be found. By Selena Jones. My sincere apologies to any adults watching that. I'm a little bit out of practice these days. <laughs> So, our vocabulary today. Fiddle, moon, laughed, row, skedaddle, passed away, sobbed, giggled, abound, and lies. So, you know the drill with this. You have your keywords and you have a definition and your job is to match them up. So, if you think that a fiddle is a large amounts of something, you would put a five. That's not the answer, by the way, guys. So, pause now and complete your sheet. Right, so here are your answers. A3, B10, C7, D6, E2, F8, G1, H9, I5, and J4. So, what I'd like to do now is have a think about what the gist of this text is. What is this text about? What's its purpose? Pause now and have a think. Okay, it's a nursery rhyme about the changes in life. To be honest, I never knew that until I have read this all the way through. I only ever really used to know the first line. So not the first line, the first verse of it, I should say. Go back to our question stems. You're going to be fed up of these, but I'm going to keep doing them and doing them and doing them. So who? The answer is going to be a person's name. What? The answer will be an object, a thing or an event. When? The answer will be a time reference. Where? The answer will be a location or place. And why? The answer is going to require some sort of explanation. So here's a focus question. Who ran away with the spoon and when was a calf born? So a few things to think about first. The question stem is who. That means that the answer is going to be a person. I then have to look for a key word. So for me, I might either look for spoon or I might look for ran away. I think I'm going to do ran away. The second question, when, is indicates that the answer is going to be a time reference of some kind. I'm going to go off the word calf because as far as I can remember, it only appears once in the text. So once you've found it, read the sentences on either side, contextualise the answer, and then make sure that you answer the question and what it's asking you for. Pause now and have a go. Right, guys. Well, the answers are really straightforward today. The, uh, who ran away with the spoon? It was a dish. And when was the calf born? noon that's midday 12 o'clock dinner time right your final task for today is an orientation sheet now two of the boxes have been merged today because there's slightly more to do in it so the first one says follow the story of two characters in the poem fill in the table below so you've got cat and cow got plays the fiddle lose cat loses the fiddle then you've got blank and blank so what happens next then you've got the cow you've got blank blank then the cow dies then a new cow is born. So what are the two blanks that come before that? When was the calf born? What does laughter, so what caused laughter to be lost? 
Reason season, noon and spoon. What's special about these paired, uh, about paired words such as these? And the last one here is, in which month did the cow get ill? You've then got an evaluative or reflective question at the bottom. Is this poem funny or serious, happy or sad? Explain your thoughts. Good luck with it, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.